Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tony Tuesday. I'm wearing a hood because I did something to my hair. I bleached my hair again. Um, basically this vlog is me bleaching my hair, talking about all of my current problems, talking about the coronavirus, showing you the stores and how empty they are, and me complaining for probably 10 minutes straight. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post again. Stay safe from the coronavirus, self-quarantine, and isolate yourselves. Okay, let's get on, right, right, let's get, let's get right on into the video. So we ended up going to Walmart, the Dollar Tree, and the grocery store in my town, and literally everything is sold out. Like, I don't know where the lunch meat all is. Obviously, toilet paper is all gone. We talked about that before. It's just really crazy, man. Like, people are going wild for this, but it definitely makes sense. This is a medicine aisle, um, and we're going to go into the Dollar Tree, and you're, <laughs> you're just hearing my reaction to everything after that. Okay, bye. All their stinking butt wipes are gone. All I have is magnesium citrate. That's the last thing I need. What? Are those butt wipes? Crotch wipes. <gasps> Feminine cleansing cloths, yes. <laughs> Alert, meat aisle is low stock. I repeat, meat aisle low stock. Oh my God. Hello. I just did a face mask and my face is extremely red. Turns out Massachusetts just put a ban on gatherings over 25 people. So it looks like I'm going to isolate myself for the next three weeks. Lexa, are you happy? You've been doing that anyway. I'm going to go for now. Um, I'll catch in with you guys once I bleach my hair. I went to Sally's Beauty today and check out what I bought. A mixing bowl, a brush. So now I have a bowl and a brush, so I'm not gonna be using that mustard squirter like last time. Goodbye. Here I am again. I have my bleach shirt on, bleaching my hair. Well, I'm not really showing like a tutorial because I already did that before and it went completely wrong, but here's the mix. Can you see it? No, you can't. The thing with this bowl is that there's uh, really poor measurements inside of it and I didn't understand this. I kind of just wung it, which is probably not a good thing, but I'm going to bleach my hair again. And we're gonna talk about the coronavirus because since this thing, oh, I'm also not wearing gloves, probably not a good thing, it's okay. But since the corona has been going around, everything's been going wrong. Let me explain. In my last video, I mentioned for like a hot second that um, my restaurant closed down when I was working there and that was not due to the coronavirus. That was due to ownership gone wrong. But because of that, I now don't have a job, right? So I'm like, whatever, like I'll just find another job. <laughs> well, that's clearly not gonna happen anytime soon because everyone is being quarantined and isolated from real life. I graduated in December, for everyone that knows. If this is your first video, hello, my name's Tony and I graduated in December. I remained on the cheerleading team because they were like, oh my God, we're going to Daytona. You have to stay on the team. And I'm like, well, that's not gonna happen because I'm an adult now, so I need a real job. But I was like, I guess whatever, like you can't replace me, so I guess I'll stay on the team. Well, bing, 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 I stayed on the team. I didn't find a real job because I went for practice like all the time and I really didn't have time to find a real job if I was constantly gonna be going to cheer practice. <laughs> Daytona was just canceled. So the NCAA whatever um, cheer conference competition in Daytona, Florida has been canceled because of coronavirus. Not postponed, just canceled. So I could have found a job four months ago, and I didn't. I'm gonna be, oops, where did that just go? I don't know. That was literally the biggest decision I had to make coming into the new year was figuring out if I'm going to stay at school and like try and work with cheer or if I should find a real job. Lo and behold, my life is ruined because we're not going to Daytona and I don't have a job and I have no way of getting a job because everyone's isolated. That just really, really screwed me over. I don't have much money to my name and I have loans that I have to pay off. 
and I can't. Really, I'm just kind of like stuck right now and confused and sad. That's like the biggest thing that's been going on so far. This is kind of like a midlife crisis bleach. This that you see up here is all new growth. The last time I bleached my hair, I think was, it was like three months ago. I wasn't anticipating bleaching it again so soon. And what's the point of waiting until summer when I can just do it now? Don't have a boyfriend still, and now that we're being quarantined or whatever, don't have the opportunity to look for a boyfriend. Don't have many friends. So normally I just hang out at home anyways. So it's not really hard for me to like stay at home or like self quarantine, self isolate, whatever it is, because I do that anyways. I haven't cleaned my room in like four years and that doesn't make me want to start now. I'm just really not accomplishing much with this whole thing going on, but it's fine. We're chilling. How does this look? Am I doing it right? I don't care about myself. My school, although I graduated, I still go there and like hang out one for cheerleading, but now that that's over, I just like hanging out with friends and doing that because I got nothing better to do and I don't really have friends in general. My school is closed or online until April 3rd. It's our like senior year or whatever. And around that time, is when like all of our senior events start happening and a senior week that we have coming up. And I just paid senior dues so we could go like bar hopping and have fun for our end of year celebration and all celebrate together because we finally finished college, but <laughs> that might get canceled. You know what else might get canceled? Graduation. Ay, ay, ay. I am just really over this whole coronavirus thing. I'm really upset with it. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I think you saw in one of my past YouTube videos that I was wearing a McHugh's junk removal shirt. Bill McHugh, he's this guy that owns like this junk removal company, right? And he was like, hey, Tom, like if you need anything to do, I have extra work that you can help me out with. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm out of a job. I'll, I'll help you with your junk removal. So we went to a site today. He was like, this is kind of like a big one to like clean up. I was like, whatever, like I can handle that, right? This house was a hoarding house <laughs> and a hoarder lived in the house and apparently she passed away recently. So they were like, we're just emptying out the whole house. Just take everything and throw it into dumpsters. So I walk in there and we're doing the basement part because apparently they already did the first floor. So our task was to take care of the whole basement. So we go in there <laughs> And instantly I walk into the basement and start like dry heaving, gagging, like, God, let me tell you this basement had, there was water dripping in the basement from, I don't even know where, just a random pipe on the wall. And that water has been dripping there forever because the basement was completely full of mold. Absolutely repulsive, disgusting. I could not breathe at all. So yeah, very big job. Um, something to do, it's extra money, so whatever. Like, I'm not complaining. Actually, I was complaining a lot, but um, I didn't mean to. But my friend goes to University of Delaware, and she was like, I really want you guys to visit. And I was like, oh my God, I really want to visit too. I was like, you know what? Like, I do want to go, but I don't know how to drive. And my friend Connor does know how to drive. And he was like, hey, I'm gonna go up. And I was like, okay, maybe I can go too. So now Connor and I are driving six hours to Delaware. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I got bleach on my nice slipper. Oh darn it. Whatever. I'll take care of that after. I am wicked running out of bleach. I did end up making more mixture. Of course. Here's my hair. I knotted itself into a bun. I'm going to let this sit for I don't know how long as always and then rinse it out. It's just smell clean. Does it smell clean? <laughs> Should I bleach it again? No, probably not. I don't think it'll look very good. Hi, I washed out my hair and I missed random root sections, if you could see on the top of my head at all. And the last video that I posted, my hair was super yellow and I toned it like three times and someone commented saying that I did it horribly and I should have bleached again. So what I'm going to do is bleach the roots again 
and hope that I cover up all of the spots that I missed, which is literally like half of the roots. We'll see what happens. I'll catch in after I'm done bleaching for the second time. Okay, I bleached it twice. I'm toning once. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it turns out good because I did not buy any more toner. I am leaving for Delaware in like a day or two. Oh, I do have toner dripping down my face though. <sighs> my head is literally on fire. Um, but I think my scalp is currently burning. Did I miss that section? Yeah, I really, really, really hope it's somewhat like not yellow because I don't have any time to get more toner and soon enough I'm going to be isolated at home. So I'll hope for the best. I toned my hair last night and the ends were purple, but the top was still yellow. So here I am using my purple hair mask that I had. And I also mixed it with purple shampoo and I'm just leaving it in the roots and the top is just bouffanted up there because I need to do something about this. I put that toner in my head. It wasn't the toner, it was the purple shampoo and hair mask. And here's my hair, cool. It's not that yellow anymore, new update. My May 2nd graduation for college was just canceled. <laughs> My senior week was just canceled, which I just paid $150 for, so I'm waiting to get refunded for that. Um, it now says that there's a virtual graduation on May 2nd. So, <clears throat> there's a virtual event. I'm going to press no to walking down the graduation aisle and accepting my diploma because that's rude. Um, that's all. Okay, this is the end of my vlog. Um, here is my hair. It's kind of, for the most part, blonde. The ends... <laughs> purple they took the lavender i don't know if you can see it because i definitely can it's kind of like a silvery purple that wasn't supposed to happen the roots kind of like a yellowy hue as always bleaching it twice did nothing that is the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i post again wash your hands bye, bye.